Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. If this is the start of a new episode, it might not be. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna skedaddle. Please let me do that. Never a dull moment. Let me leave. Mind my step. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what we came here hours and hours ago to do, which is find Open up. the Infernal Iron for my wife. Pools for the roll trade. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I'd make it. I'm having Gail do it. <laughs> I don't have a very balanced party. I don't have anybody with sleight of hand or decks. But these three had 13 decks, which was better than me. Ooh. Weapon enchantment plus one. What'd that do? Blacksmith's notes. Source Underdark, gift from blank. Faintly sulfuric odor, forging unsuccessful, will not melt or warp. Oh, it's talking about the infernal. Okay. Infernal metal! This can help Damon patch up my engine. Truly. Indeed. Let's see. It's not better than my Warhammer. But it is. I have a weapon enchantment? Whatever that does. Oh, there's a plus one bonus to attack rolls and deals plus one bonus damage. All right, let's keep it then. We are looking so good. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the cape. I'm so in love with the cape. I found it. Found the cellar door. It wasn't hidden. Didn't have to roll an investigation check, but I did... It did require me to look around. We've got stuff. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, I accidentally clicked on Gale, so what do you make of having a vampire in our camp? We all have our burdens. One way or the other. Okay, bye. I guess I should ask. What can I do you for? Um, never mind. Okay. Apparently she's not concerned with it. It would well, be interesting to have Will and Asterion in the same squad, seeing as how he is a vampire hunter. Why can I only ask Gale? I'm getting a lot of, like, alchemical stuff in here. I was hoping so. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take the painting. I can sell that one. That'll fit in my pack. Ooh, vitriol of weave moss. Okay. Poking everything. A potion of glorious vaulting. Drink this to triple your jump distance. Healer's log. Patient Samson, occupation blacksmith, malady gout. Comment: Samson's become accustomed to the good license he's acquired. That new apprentice. I gave him a tincture of autumn crocus and taught him to avoid red meat and ale. Patient Branley, Occupation Cooper, Large Wood Splinter in Hand, Splinter Remove, Wound Clean, Douse and Balsam, Ointment, and Bandage. Patient to make Occupation Nun Child, Swallowed a Cork Bottle. No hardness or blockage in stomach, the cork should pass without causing harm. I gave the lad a stern warning. Patient Dita, Occupation Apprentice Blacksmith, Melody, Minor Burns to the Face and Hands. Another burn for Samson's eager young apprentice, the usual treatment was applied, but I urged her to slow her pace at work before she inflicts real harm on herself. Keeping the medical journal is a good idea, always. That might be worth a look. What? Oh, a lever back there. Okay. Thank you, Gail, for having high perception. I appreciate it. It's actually a. Is that blood? No, never mind. Oh, <gasps> secret door hidden behind a bookcase. Hmm? Oops. Um. Hey, bye. 
Um, I'd love to, thanks. I just want her to carry this. <laughs> I'd love to. Stayed interesting. I'd love to, thanks. She knew. What's hiding here? Okay, I checked out everything in the room that I know of. Oh shoot! What's this? Not over, then through. Potion of healing recipe. Suspicious poison. Well, thank you. Why is it suspicious? Isn't all poison suspicious? Oh. It looks like a health potion. I see, I see. I'd switch over to my torch. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, but, every, not every time. Sometimes when I switch, it messes up. I do actually want to get somebody with the light cantrip, which I think, um, Shadowheart has. She really does have such really useful abilities. Are these... Yeah, these are caskets. I mean, it kind of makes sense that the healer would have that stuff. Oh my gosh, there's an evil mirror. Okay. We gotta look around first, though. Hmm, I'll take that. Holy, um, surprised. Yeah, you surprised me. You definitely did. Um. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> This is what I get for greed. Um, but... Yeah, away with you. <laughs> oh, she's stoked. Hey, I want to use this on somebody. There are so many, there's so many undead. I don't have my, I don't have my special undead thing. We're not doing too bad, really. I thought we were gonna get overwhelmed, but we managed to get through it. I am well pleased. No traps, please. Dark journal, mm-hmm. There's a chance to get zero? That sucks. I pay no service to the gods, but by some blessing, this village believes me and my apprentice to be simple healers. My tattoos are hidden, my red robes- <gasps> No, not the red robes! And my lab secured. I have not heard the word they since we arrived, and we only my apprentice knows me as Ilian Toth. This place is not ideal for my research, but I can never return home, not the way I escaped. I'd be put to death with worse to follow. The work here is simple, the worst to follow, so they'd be like, their spirit would be used. The work here is simple and allows me to continue my research at night, but progress is slow. Reanimation seems easy, but restoring life, that prize eludes me. The tome containing the magic contains the magic I need, but it fights me at every step, as does my apprentice. At least my familiar has made it easy to secure bodies without raising suspicion. This will take time. Will the zoo cures find me before I can bring her back? I cannot say, but if they do come for me, they'll have to face the guardians I've raised. Okay, so that's the person that we found in the cellar. That is not... That one. He was a necromancer, and he was obsessed with a particular book. A is for Azatha. Probably not that one. I'm not trying to throw anything. Oh yeah, there was like a dirt hole. I didn't mean to press that button. He grants their spells, both big and small, for Mr. Always Yearning, Bane that Tyrant, the Black Hand, make sure to the strong the rule, he spreads his darkness through their land, praised by harsh and cruel. The Sheba will bring forth your doom, unless you chant her prayer, split from Timora in the womb, she brings bad luck to spare. Please just pick it up. There was also this. 
Whoa. Oh, okay, I was like, what? Well, like, it wasn't animating for a second. I've been having an issue sometimes where, like, I have to, uh, select, like, the text instead of the object. Scroll of fi Firebolt! Da da da! Scroll of gaseous form. That's cool. Oh! You can't fall and fit through small openings. Very hard to damage. A scroll of dark vision. I'm gonna sell that. That's another one that I could potentially use to get in and out of some of those cracks that I that I find on occasion. And that I didn't leave marked because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like, because there's one casket that's not opened, but you get a scroll of summon Kaisit. Kaisit? Summon a Kaisit from the lower planes. This scroll is destroyed upon you. Summon a familiar with the form of a Kaisit that can turn invisible and scare enemies. Inky notes slash across the margin, the angle of the handwriting suggesting urgency, perhaps warning. I love me some cool stuff. There's more. Oh my gosh, there's. Oh my gosh, how many. Like, can't we just have like a nice normal tunnel, you know? It's just like chill. It's like a. a burial? It was. And obviously the guy was like. I gotta bring her back. Because nobody ever gets into necromancy just for fun. Hmm? They've always got a reason. Alright. Uh. Getting ready to save scum, maybe. To be fair, I should maybe have Gale yes. look at this. It seems magical. A magic mirror. A primitive. primitive contraption, but oh, not okay, without its okay. use. Oh, I'm Jack Humaman. Sniff the mirror. Oh my gosh. Repeat the name from the book you read. I do want to hang on. Tell it. Or I do want to discover some stuff. I could totally see Gale sniffing a magic mirror, by the way. To figure out its secrets. Like, that sounds like something he'd do. The magic is old and wavering, but you recognize it. The mirror is a thinking lock, hiding She's some covered in blood. She looks so good. The face is crafted to be pleasing, but the personality is just a reflection of the wizard that created it. Speak your name. Uh, I hope that is right, because I don't remember reading that. I know Dang it! You are not Illintoth. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. Mm. We can try. Only a true ally of Illintoth may pass. What think you? Of the Zolkir known as Zastan. You recognize the name, of course. Anyone that knows oh, of the Red Oh, yes, of course. Would. Zastan is a powerful lich that rules the land of Thay. He drove many Red Wizards out of their ancestral home. Oh my gosh, yes. Actually, I was, this is a trick question, right? It's like, this is. The game was nice, and it gave me some background, but it was a trick. It was a trick, trick context clue. Uh, Sam's Sass Tam isn't a Zelkir. He rules as High Regent now. <gasps> oh no! I thought that was good. Let me in. No, I'll have you to try will again be later. Purged. That's bad. Run, run. We run. Yeah, we run. Yeah, we run from that. We, we run from these. It's just following us? Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, that's really unfortunate. Hang on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> we're gonna be low, we're gonna be low. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was, I thought it would blow up and then be done, but no, it's gonna just 
go around the room. Hmm, maybe there's more context clues I'm missing? I thought he'd be the best one. He's a wizard. He knows stuff. Necromancers are wizards. I guess I could play myself and try to intimidate the mirror, but I don't think that's gonna work. Let's, well, we can give it a whirl. What to do? I'm Shadow Meriden. Oh my gosh, no. You do your best to wipe the dirt from your face and look presentable. <laughs> Adventuring is murder on one's wardrobe. Though. I love the narrator. It's so Speak funny, so name. funny. I see you were shaped by darkness. What? Not light. You are not oh. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. Uh, open or I'll smash you to pieces. Bad luck be damned. I don't have intimidation proficiency anymore, but... Yeah, it's a high one. Oh. You think, uh... Oh, let's see. I do have... I have a couple inspirations. <gasps> On that 20! <gasps> oh my gosh. There is a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then. Okay. okay. Quick save that also. A well guarded laboratory. Whoa! What were they hiding down here? Look at that! That's cool. It's like an ichthyosaur or something. Gross. On my way. Look at all these cool bones. Who would want to sit under that chair? It doesn't make any sense. Well, something went down. Stuff got knocked over. Ugh, a humanoid skeleton. Who's surprised, right? A magnifying, oops, oh, okay, race dead, failed, gone too long, body decomposed, reanimation, failed, came back as a ghoul, had to kill again, speak with dead, failed, answers unhelpful, clone, failed, need living tissue, reanimation, plus clone, failed, had to kill both ghouls, resurrection, failed, why? Magical curse, true resurrection, I have reached the limit of my skills and resources, the book offers help, do I dare? Okay, we got the research notes. I was trying to pick up the magnifying glass. Not that I know, I don't think they would be very useful. Ooh. Always room for more. Scroll feather fall and basilisk oil. You turn page after page filled with strange alchemical sketches and formulae. Some are written plainly, some in runes and scripts you barely recognize. There are guides to transmuting metals and recipes for weapons of war, but more than anything else, the book is concerned with reanimating dead flesh. Grips. Pick it up. Read. The book is filled with pages and pages of observations tracking travelers and people in the village. You turn to the final page. Oliver Singe, merchant, arrives in Moonhaven, departs next day, Kelshite, stranger, name unknown, passes through, not Thayen, Reshemi. Oh, so trying to keep track of the people coming in and out so they can know if they're in trouble, like if they're being followed. Three men in black armor pass through, not Thayen. Hackett, journeyman, passes through, not Thayen. Uktar, raid, black armor, soldiers, some damaged, not Thayen, but dangerous. Oh, that's the date. Oops, sorry. Mm, the keys, key, the book's key gem has gone missing. Familiar order to watch my apprentice. Singe passes through, doesn't stop. Familiar reports, apprentice disappeared near well. Will observe. Raid, same soldiers as before. Townsfolk taken. Smoke on the horizon. Raid. So they hid in their laboratory and hoped for the best. And we haven't... I don't... I, I assume they died in the raid. Do I need those? I could probably throw them. Probably throw them at something. Um... So... The necromancer is still here. Here we go. Or... 
Watch how you go. Ah. There's a trap. Or the necromancer died. Already, but I I don't know about that. Bracers of defense. You gain plus two bonus to armor class as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. Okay, so that's for my mage. Okay, very nice. Very, very nice. No one back home will ever believe this. No one back home will ever believe it. No. Well, they might, honestly. At the rate at which everything's kind of going to crap. On death and resurrection, where are you at? Dang it. Okay. An exit from the ongoing metatext rebound by Isofa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Near Periodical efforts to reconstruct the metatext for gods and all of lost and hidden knowledge. Oh, did we? Yes, we already read this before. I thought it would be another installment. The Evil Eye. While the number of trinkets and bargains a hag personally acquires means that her powers will be unique compared to that of her sisters, hags as a whole can still be divided into three subcategories. This is useful. Potentially, it looks like somebody got hacked. Uh, night hags, named as such for their ability to haunt a mortal's dream, slowly devouring vital essence until the victim's soul can be trapped into the hag's soul bag. They are known for being petty, selfish braggarts. Known for devouring their victim's whole, sea hags can terrorize and kill with a single look. They reek of fish and are incapable of making a proper cup of tea. Green hags, they are beautiful, they are powerful, speak not a word against them. So this was maybe either written by somebody that was entranced by a green hag, or was a green hag themselves. useful because that eventually here we're gonna have to be uh, dealing with a hag at some point a crystal wall oh shoot uh, well okay I was actually just I wanted to see if I poked it if something would happen Alas. Oops. I took the basket. No. I doubt a bear this size went down without a fight. My nature check didn't go well. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. That's a big mama. That's a big Okay, you know what? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Killed this cave bear. Rather sad, really. He, All right. the, the outlander and the nature druid didn't pass it. This is why I need to have a high intelligence. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Is intelligence, I think it's, oh my. Uh, is nature intelligence or wisdom? I don't know. Oh. I know there was another room over, there's another room over here, or it's the locked one. The one with the trap. Ooh, would be taste. best, maybe Gail, because, yeah, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, buddy. Okay. <sighs> Well, that ends. Oh my well, gosh, perception failed. Where am I needed? Careful. There are traps about. Okay. Um, well, Gail, you appear to be my lockpick guy. I don't think this is strictly legal. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if he would could lockpick. Oh my gosh, I not funny! Yes! Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, how many traps are there? There's a. Tr oh my gosh, is that a. 
Is that actually gonna pop up if I if I mess this trap up? Is that gonna turn into an actual gargoyle? Cause I will scream. What? Well, where's the other trap? I missed it. A long way from Waterdeep. I kind of missed it. Seek and you shall find me. Well, thanks, bud. Okay, it's not too high. Oh, jeez. Can we re-roll? Yeah. I'm scared of this trap. Okay. Whew. Read. The book is Whoa. locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. Put your hand in it. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You've seen similar books in wizards' libraries. A tome on Thayan magic. A rare and expensive find. But people have gone mad reading less dangerous texts. Please don't open the creepy <gasps> book. <gasps> you surely shouldn't leave such a threat out. Where anyone could stumble across it. This is not where anyone could stumble across it. Uh, yeah, let's bring it. Uh, press I. It is not too late. Could we read it? No, we are absolutely not going to read it. We're going to sell that thing. I am not. I am not going to do that. What was there? There was something over here. Ah! Oh, jeez. I didn't actually... Oh, God, I didn't actually want to click it myself. Uh-oh. Uh, are we okay? The magic touch. At the ready. Oh, we don't have any more disarm traps. That's Maybe good. it's not gonna go off. No time to rest. Another step e? forward. Uh, I'm scared. Maybe like with the book gone, the trap's no longer a concern. Maybe. Ooh. Drow poison? I will take that. Everything looks like it's been looted. I got your book, nerd. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, did I already do that? I'm an idiot. Wait, is this back to the beginning? Oh! Oh! This- I thought this was a whole new room. I was like, what is- what more could there be after a tome of evil like that? Okay, it's back to the beginning. There were apparently two entrances. So that was another hour, hour and a half delay to getting the next- <laughs> The next, uh, infernal token. Oh, I just cannot. I cannot stay on track. It is physically impossible. Destroy it? I mean, I thought I could sell it. I really would like to sell it. Maybe some kind of stone? A key gem lost. That's right! There was like a side tunnel. I was like, I remember seeing that. There was like a side tunnel. Uh, No, we're gonna break it. I am a paladin. I'm a paladin. This helps me. This helps, honestly does help me. A hero at heart. I'm going to have Gale give it to me. To be fair, me being a sage might make me sad about this. Um, also, I feel like we should be out in an open space when we do this. And, well, in it.
Um, but no, it is a book of necromancy. That is something I, as a paladin, any paladin would not tolerate. So, we are going to break it. I'm sure I'll have another. I do like to make morally questionable um, mage type characters. So, I'm sure I'll have somebody who wants to look at it someday. How do I... how do I break it? Evil has a weakness, there must be a way to destroy it. Could I throw it in a fire? Maybe I'll find a fire? I think there was like a sleeping guy somewhere around here. There's a forge! Let's go to the forge and throw it in the fire. That might have actually been on the more upper floor. Nope. Haha! -ha. I left the fire lit like a moron. I am going to take a short short rest. Let's move. Okay, okay, okay. Um, add to custom, and then throw that. What did it say? It's immune to bludgeoning damage, but is it is on fire? The book is locked tight. Ah. Would know you try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You can sense something dark about this tome. Something profound. I am a paladin. Please don't open the darling, book. Darling, darling, I'm not going to. We surely shouldn't leave such a threat out where anyone could stumble across it. Drop the tome. Oh, okay. Ready to destroy it. I knew Gail would disapprove. You feel better the second the book is out of your hands. What are you doing? That's the way to treat it. It's book. an evil book, Gail. This return. Louder, stronger, commanding you to stop. They have no hold on you. All you have to do is strike. I am a paladin. All I have to do is hit it? Did I drop it? Or is it in my inventory? Where'd it go? Why is it still in there? Oh, I am. I am silly. Oh, I don't have any. Like, I could try to use my divine powers on it. This is hilarious. <laughs> The, egg, the exclamation point and the pale elf. We learned that Asterians might be a vampire. A master hunter named Grendel is looking for him. But then again, Asterian's a vampire. <laughs> it's like this. Like I get there's multiple ways to find out he's a vampire, but like, you think one would like initiate? Like I don't know. Like I thought everybody would know after we had the conversation with the hunter. I'm gonna try to switch out for Shadowheart. No time to dally. All right. Let's see. Keep pushing. She has this. Oh, a hundred percent disadvantage. Okay. I thought radiant damage would do it. Let's make this quick. Oh, whoops. Whoops, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> uh I'm an idiot. Can't give up now. Oh, I could have just looked at the resistances, I guess. Slashing, piercing, bludgeoning, acid, thunder, necrotic, fire, lightning, cold, radiant resistant. The radiant damage against this entity is doubled. Dang, it's like so evil that radiant damage actually can't do anything. I just gotta carry this book around. 
something the matter. Bye bye. If you're sure. Yeah, I am. Fine. I'll be here when you rediscover your chair. Just blah blah blah. Just pick it up. The book you try to exam. Oh, Lazo approved. You feel better the second. What do you do? The voices. I'm glad Gail doesn't keep no hold on. disliking it. Doesn't keep disliking the the action I am taking. I have to keep going. Um. Leave camp. Okay, I don't want to end the day. I don't want to sleep. I just want to leave camp. But I still have the cursed book. Cool. I mean, I can't think of it. He even said force damage and psychic damage, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's, I cannot believe it's not weak to fire. At least, you know? But, oh well. I guess, who did it say that they were the, the Zooiers or whatever? Maybe I gotta find one of those people. Or a red wizard. That's intriguing. Anyway, I'm going to be done for the night. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all of my patrons, including the Acorn patrons. Thank you so much, Adam, for your support. I very much appreciate it, my friend. And also thank you to Fane, my other Acorn tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to... Rescalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. It's been a long time and I appreciate it a lot. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to my forest tier patron, Christopher, who's gone above and beyond in his support of the channel and of me and who I cannot say thank you to enough. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.